segment of the workshop renovation time-lapse video that I'm going to show you. This is going to be the final the final reveal of the workshop. Uh, it's finally completed. It's been a long time coming, but we've finally finished the workshop. You can see we've labeled it the man cave there. Um, but yeah, everything is done now. All the tools have been moved in. All the workbenches have been um, installed, have been built. Um, everything, is, everything is finally completed in here. I've used it a couple of times as well and uh, for a couple of projects. Everything works very nice. The layout, I'm really happy with the layout. Um, everything is pretty easily maneuverable around. There's not too many tight areas in here. Um, so it's it's actually not bad. For, for a small workshop, it's actually not a, not, a bad, um, not a bad layout and design. So I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. There's, um, there's adequate storage for tools and everything. Everything is nicely laid out in it. And um, yeah, I really like it. There's adequate power for all the tools, um, lots of vacuum lines and stuff as well. Um, the, uh, the switches for the vacuum to turn the vacuum on and off. There's ample switches all around the shop as well. And, um, so what I want to do is just show you a couple of detail shots, or a couple, there's a couple of segments I want to show you about the detail work. So I'll just be going over that and um, just start with an overall view here at first. You saw in, the, uh, in those introduction shots there are a couple of the things that I want to show you. So um, I'll go over that now. Um, I guess what I'll do at first is just show you the, uh, the blueprints again and just kind of show you what's changed since I showed you the plans in the very beginning. 
Um, you can see here, um, this is like the overall room view. Basically, the only thing that's changed for this is the lathe. It's not a swing up there anymore. I kind of had some difficulty making the mount, and plus, I wanted to have some shelf space underneath for, uh, for tool storage. So I didn't want to have um, like a big tool taking up all this space there. So I've just mounted the, the lathe now on a little uh, workbench here. And there's a, there, it's mounted on like a, a board so I can move it around easily if I need to bring it into an area with more space to, to work on it. Um, this is where I wanted to have it mounted initially. You can see all the tools, all the tools are there now. So I think it's a better use of the workspace there to have um, storage for tools as opposed to uh, just a, a machine that we don't really use too much. So that's pretty much the only thing that's changed there. Everything else is the same. There's the big workbench in the corner there. Um, we have the bandsaw, the bandsaw over in this corner. Um, the sander over here, and the drill press over there. And then this is the big workbench with the, uh, the chop saw station. This one over here. And then also underneath I had the uh, compressor and the shop back. I'll be getting that. I'll be getting to that in a second. But there's a cabinet underneath where I mount where I've installed those two units there. So yeah, that's pretty much um, the, the biggest change. Oh, you know what? The um, the table saw. There is no table saw. You'll see here. That's one of the biggest things as well that we've changed. Um, the, you know, we were kind of debating whether we should put it in or not. I guess the the biggest factor that um, kind of prevented us from putting it in here is the amount of dust that it throws. You just, you, there's no way that you can collect all the dust from it and um, you know even with a dust collection system there's just a ton of dust there. So it would have been mounted here, you can see I have the plugs all ready for it to go. You know in the future if we wanted to get a small one maybe that's okay but we have a fairly large saw, the Bosch um, table saw and it does throw quite a bit of dust so we've just left it outside in the, in the garage for now and we can do all of our big cuts in there and just leave all the, all the smaller, the finer work in here. Even this throws a little bit of dust, but I've added um, a bit of a shroud around there to kind of to collect it a little bit better, and, it, and it's manageable, so it's good. But yeah, that's that's another thing that we um, that we've changed as well. So I guess just the lathe and the table saw there. Um, in terms of the electrical plan, uh, I guess the biggest thing again was just the uh, the addition of those two two lights in the middle. So now we have six lights on the ceiling. Um, I initially had planned for four, which I had explained in the video. We have that light down there as well. And um, this light, we still haven't added the light above the workbench. I don't think we really need it there because there's actually adequate light. So I've just, um, there's the, the switch light that runs up into the ceiling. It's still up, it's still in the ceiling, they're coiled up. I don't think I'm gonna add a light there. So it's there just you know, for future use if somebody else wants to use it, we, if we end up moving or something. But anyways, that's uh, um, vacuum plan. Nothing nothing has really changed um, with regards to the vacuum layout. It's all the same. Um, and then the wall detail here. So you can see my initial plan for the wall was to have um, two layers of, of insulation, of sound insulation there. We ended up just putting the one the one layer of sound insulation and then we, um, we, we changed it from half inch plywood to the pegboard. I think the, the pegboard is a much nicer effect as well. Uh, it's a lot easier to hang tools and uh, you know you don't need to drill any holes in the wall. You just if you need to change a tool position or something you just you just change the position of the um, of the little hook and no new hole is needed. So I think that's a lot more effective for a workshop.